We moved to Toronto straight out of high school, basically, and we all lived together as a band. It went from, I think in weekends in Midland, we mostly just kind of got together and played music and uh, kind of isolated ourselves socially from other like groups of kids. And it gave us this sort of club that we created and were the only members of, <laughs> of like the, the indie rock band in Midland, which just in 2004 wasn't a thing. It was mostly about like punk and emo and stuff. But um, when we moved to Toronto, I think it was just sort of a, like a lot of young kids first year in university when you move to Toronto and you're legally allowed to go buy beer and all that you kind of take advantage of that <laughs> and living in like a house together the the three of us at the time yeah. it was definitely like it was also similar to the weekends we'd have in Midland where we would just go into the basement and play same equation plus more beer yeah, yeah. <laughs> equal success I get on first and there is a horrific smell it is just like it defies description how bad it smells and we're all kind of looking around, and there's kind of like an older guy who has like all of his plastic bag with him. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. Like he is having a hard time. Well, it was like you know when you can see the smell, not in seeing it, but like you can see the people creating this like space around this person. Right. And that's yeah. When you know. So we come to a stop, and everyone's like, all right, get off this car. Everybody's got to get off the car. And so I go get on the next car ahead sit down and as the doors are closing the same person walks in and just sits right down kind of across from me i'm just like okay here we go again <laughs> taking the smell train to dupont <laughs> i've been hawking at drivers a lot lately while i'm driving if they do something that i feel is socially unjust it's mostly when you're driving and it's a 40 and i'm doing 45 or 50 and a guy just like flies around me and i'm just like there could be little kids like walking out you like where are you going in such a hurry in toronto you can't get anywhere faster than anywhere else. You know that light's gonna turn red and you're gonna be sitting there. So I just honked at him and he gave me the finger. There's another one where I was going down Brock, which is a very residential street, and a guy passed me. And I was like, I'm doing, I'm driving probably over the speed limit. This guy flies around me and I honked at him because I was just like, man, he should know. He just, if I can at least make him feel a little bad, like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was my only goal really. Yeah. But then he came to the stop <laughs> sign and there was like an old man just ready to almost cross. And I saw him just almost go. And the old man was just like, Ugh. <laughs> and like he almost basically then as soon after he did that, he almost drove into this old person trying to cross. And the, there was a crossing guard sitting there. And the crossing That's guard so was cool. just like it was dancing. I away. just saw him swearing at this driver. <laughs> no, he he was a bigger <laughs> guy. He, uh, yeah, he could not dance. 